Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how it looks like if you are replacing or upgrading the motherboard on a PC with Windows 10. There are basically two questions about that. First question is of course if you have to reinstall Windows 10 and the second question is if you can keep your Windows 10 license or you if you have to buy and pay for a new one and unfortunately uh, there is no clear answer to that i mean there's also an answer to say there's no clear answer i mean of course that's not the answer you were hoping for or expecting but i think there's no better answer to that of course you can read through uh, many many blogs and get maybe a little bit a better impression about that the best thing which i have found and i will put down the link to that uh, report or to that blog post into the description so you can read everything on your own but basically it explains two things or even a little bit more i mean basics are like uh, oem windows plus plus new motherboard means you have to buy a new windows license i mean oem windows that's the thing which you get for free if you buy a new pc usually so if you go to a shop and you buy a complete system and then you want to upgrade it on your own that's basically this situation when you have an oem window you are in a better situation if you have bought a full retail windows license and then uh, usually no license is required but sometimes it's required that you call microsoft i mean in any case if you want to be sure i mean um yeah windows license costs a little bit but it's not as expensive as it was before at least when you google for that you can find really cheap licenses i'm not saying that these are all legit offers but you can see there are many offers from about four dollars six dollars even cheaper if you want to buy just home here's a home version which i don't do not recommend i think that's the one here two dollar fifty or so i mean um, yeah it's hard to find out which ones of these things are legit but from what i've heard is that usually these things are uh, really working that they are no scam i don't know where they have the licenses from but usually the re reviews are really good and it looks like they are working but i mean i'm not a professional in this kind i cannot tell you how legit this is and how official but usually people don't get any kind of problems with that so it's not a big deal if you have to buy a new license but in general we can say i mean if you're upgrading pc usually if you're upgrading a new graphics card it's no problem if you upgrade a hard disk it's no problem of course power is no problem just cpu is no problem so the windows license is tied to the motherboard usually and so upgrading is the upgrading the motherboard is the biggest problem and yeah usually people don't upgrade motherboard it is usually not needed so you can sometimes i mean you can upgrade usually the ram or the cpu or hard disk or graphic cards without upgrading the motherboard but at some point maybe after uh, let's say eight nine ten years or so if you want to uh, buy a new cpu sometimes you need to really upgrade the motherboard and then this is where the problems start but it really looks that like uh, that some people have been successful upgrading the motherboard and still have been able to use the old uh, windows license especially when they paid for that and some people even say they have been able they have been successful even with 
OEM licenses, but usually you will definitely have to call Microsoft. I mean, Microsoft wants to make sure that somebody is not doing the, this 100 times. So if you call them, you have they have your phone number. They can check who is calling. If you if you are calling every two hours or every two days, they won't allow. If you are calling from the same phone number. Uh, then it, I think it shouldn't be a problem, but it's up to Microsoft, of course, to decide. So it is really a little bit unclear and you have to find out again, as I already told you at the beginning, the best thing is if you check um, with Microsoft, maybe you call or try to send them an email or chat and explain your situation and they will be able to tell you if you have to buy a new system. The second question is, yeah, if you have to reinstall Windows because we are reinstalling Windows, uh, I mean, it's not a lot of work, but usually it means you will lose your data on this specific partition or drive or whatsoever you have to back up your data you have to be careful not to lose everything so that's always a little bit uh, a thing i mean it usually it really doesn't take long uh, if it's a new fast pc it you can set up new windows within five minutes but if you have to back up and reinstall everything like data sometimes programs sometimes programs you are where you don't have the license anymore or those things and uh, configure programs and uh, it can take days or even weeks so it is it makes a huge difference if you can use the old system which you have installed on your hard disk or not i mean the uh, rule of thumb uh, about 20 years ago was that it almost never worked then if you, if you uh, replaced or upgraded your motherboard i mean yeah anyway it's a different thing if you just replace a motherboard or if you upgrade a motherboard if you just replace the motherboard with the same uh, exact motherboard uh, microsoft will more likely be uh, able to or accept your old license that's also a thing because they see okay it, it it just broke down and you had to replace then they say okay it's probably not a new pc you just replace had to replace a part if you upgrade of course it's a different thing and so also regarding installing i would say if you just replace the motherboard because it's broken and you at reattach the hard disk and everything you should be able to use the windows with uh, without reinstalling but if you upgrade the motherboard and maybe even other things like cpu ram whatsoever then the chance is not so big that you will be able to use the installation i mean in our case what we did a couple of days ago we uh, it was not working uh, from the beginning we had a blue screen so at the beginning we had we run into this bsod uh, machine check exception and usually it means hardware error but in our case we just had to upgrade our motherboard this thing here which is a nice thing it's a little bit more expensive but the good thing is you can just attach it to the ethernet cable and go to the bios setup and say okay upgrade the uh, bios on the motherboard and after upgrading the uh, bios on the uh, motherboard the the blue screen uh, this machine check exception was gone and we have been able to use the normal win the old windows installation of course we had to buy a new windows license because we almost uh, were replacing everything and we only had an oem uh, serial key so um, yeah this is a really difficult case to keep your license but uh, usually for a couple of dollars it should be uh, possible to buy a new license but at least we didn't have to reinstall the windows which is definitely a very positive thing on the other hand uh, the question is is it really recommended even if you get your windows back running uh, it looks uh, like a good thing uh, at the first moment but 
at the end it could be maybe even a bad thing i mean the first thing usually uh, reinstalling uh, like a fresh windows 10 is always a good thing so you get rid of all the old stuff in your windows folders which makes the windows system slower so that's a good thing and then you just install the things which you really need and not hundreds of programs which you just once used and you have the leftovers which makes the computer uh, slow and the hard disk full so it's a positive thing and not only this thing is really good because it is much more stable if you have installed your windows on an old motherboard and then you switch to a new configuration with everything new new motherboard new cpu and whatsoever there are things which are usually uh, really specifically installed from windows 10 uh, they detect what you have on your machine and they install it specifically and when you switch to a new environment it can cause some problems maybe not only at the beginning maybe they come later on after some time uh, it could be less stable or other disadvantages so if you don't have too many programs which you cannot recover or reinstall or whatsoever so it's actually still highly recommended to do a proper clean reinstall if you have so much things new uh, on your pc so uh, that's actually it for now i think 11 minutes that's enough unfortunately no better information but at least i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that so if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time